Hey guys, Zen up here, and if you've watched my channel for any length of time, you know I have a solar panel system. There's my inverter and my charge controller, a bunch of wires that really need to get cleaned up, and my new batteries that I just got. Today, we're going to be adding to that system a grid tie inverter that I got off of Amazon.com, and this Blue Sea switch. For some of you that don't know, this is a switch for power. So basically, power comes in, I can have it just completely shut off, go to one, two, or both. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my battery bank on one, the grid tie inverter onto two, and then one and two would be where power would go to both of them equally. Well, a grid tie power inverter allows you to take power directly from the solar panels, converts it into AC, in this case 300 watts, you plug it into here and then into your wall outlet and you can start feeding power back to the grid. Now this has this uh, safety switch on it so if the power goes out it doesn't keep pumping power into the line so the linemen don't get zapped from my little 300 watts of power uh, when they're out there trying to fix it. This is one of the parts that I wish I would have seen more on YouTube videos that I watched when I was researching this switch. So I'm going to try to explain it nice and easy with you guys here. So here's the switch. We're going to pull this off. Now here we have a COM, a 1, and there you can see it, a 2. The COM is the common. So this is going to be the power from the solar panels. This is going to go to the battery bank or whatever one's going to be. And this is going to go to my grid tie inverter or whatever your two is going to be. Now, this is only for the power lines, your red lines. From what I understand, you take the power from the solar panel, you plug it into here. And then, you know, these two go off to their own power sources. But the negative for the solar panels goes directly onto the negative for your battery or if you have a bus bar it goes onto your negative bus bar. Same thing with uh, the power for the batteries. The power for the battery goes here and the negative for the battery goes onto the negative. And then for the grid tie, the power for the grid tie goes here and then the negative for the grid tie goes again on the negative for your battery or on your bus bar. I just don't have a bus bar yet. Probably be a new project coming up fairly soon though. A few other things that you're going to need for this project are some wire. I'm using 8 gauge wire that I got at Lowe's. And you're going to need some heavy duty ring terminals. And that's going to connect to the ends of the wires to connect to all the different things. You're going to need some wire cutters and a crimper. Um, I'm using the wife's crimper today. See, pink box. Uh, so shh, don't tell her. Here's a nice thing to know about this switch. You're supposed to have all the wires come out down here from this bottom piece here. But my wires could not crunch all into there without touching. One of the nice things about this is that you can pull off each of these walls if you need to. Now I can take this and put it back on and have the wires coming out separate spots. So they're not all touching and it won't defeat the purpose. Just because of where I want to put this on the wall, I have decided to make number one be for the grid tie and number two be for the batteries. So all I have to do is now unwrap the positive for the uh, solar panels but I have to go disconnect it real quick plug that in put the box back on then screw it onto the wall through these four holes here here is where I've decided to put this I have the grid tie inverter there and I have my switch here currently set to off I have the power for the solar into the common it goes out. Here is switch. I want to say this was going to be one. And that will go right here to the power on the grid tie. And two will come all the way over here and plug into the charge controller. 
But before I do that, I'm going to plug in all of my negatives. So we will do that now. I want you guys to just take a look at that mess. That's all the stuff I have plugged into the negative post. I can totally see why people do bus bars. And I think from now on, that's what I'm going to do with uh, any other additions to the system or probably one of my next upgrades to this is do a bus bar system for this because that's just way too much stuff on one terminal can barely get the nut on there at all I think I'm wired up here is a positive wire from the solar panels that goes into here which now I'm starting to doubt myself with my OCD and I really want to say that I wired that into the common because the other two were already wired when I plugged that one in. Let's just say I did it right. This one here was a short one which was for one and that I have coming up to the power on the grid tie. I have a negative from the grid tie coming down to the batteries. So grid tie set. Here is the positive wire for the batteries, which comes to the charge controller. And then from the charge controller goes down to the batteries like normal. And the negative for the solar panel line goes straight down to the negative on the batteries. And then the inverter was already plugged in. So even though that's a huge wiring mess, um, I think we're set. All I have to do is go plug back in the solar panel and see if the house burns down. So let's make sure that we're at off. Yep, we're at off. Okay, be right back. We have plugged back in the solar panel. And it is still showing nothing coming from it. Right there is 0.0, .0 amps, so the switch is working at least to that point. I plugged in the uh, grid tie inverter to my kilowatt meter, so I can see how much energy I'm feeding back into the system. So let's go over here. We can see the fault line because we have no power connected to it yet. So let's flip a switch. Let's go to one. <gasps> Look at that. I am feeding power to the grid. You see those green flashy lights? I guess the faster they flash, the more power we're sending. So right now, we are feeding power to the grid. Let's see if we can see how much. Look at that, 600, or, uh, 69 watts. I am feeding into the grid right now. 70, it's climbing up. Let's look outside real quick. Um, let's see, no real direct sun on the panels. It's just kind of ambient sun. There's clouds blocking the sun right now. A little bit of blue sky, so. That should kick up soon. So you're up to 71-ish, give or take, the shade. That's awesome. Okay, now let's change this to off. And now put it to the batteries. And... Okay, that's to two. So this should be feeding the batteries. Why is this not feeding the batteries? Finally got it figured out. Turns out my charge controller is a narcissist and wanted to have all of the negative power from the solar panels put directly into it through here. So uh, it makes me happy because now I have three wires here on my negative instead of the five that were there before so let's try this thing out see what happens let's go to solar and there is solar power coming in at 
17.3 amps, which is super cool. So now let's switch this here back off. Come up here, switch it over to one, which is the grid tie. And now the grid tie is flashing away. And let's come down here, see how much power it is putting in. Looks like we are putting in 116 watts of power right now. Give or take. Let's switch it to off. And it goes to one watt. I don't know how I'm still putting one watt of power in, but whoops. Let's put it to both of them together. Now the batteries and the grid tire getting power. And I'm still putting in 35 watts of power into the system. And I am charging my batteries at 17.4 amps still. So that is pretty cool. Well, that's all I have for this video. As always, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Check us out on the website. We'll see you guys on the next one. plug it into here it will convert it from DC to AC where you can hello next we're going to take a wire from oh uh, be right back need to get some wire I'm using 8 gauge wire for uh, pretty much everything except for where the power goes to the inverter and I am going to need some uh, um, terminals